Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here real quick. Um, I know this group has been a little bit quiet, but it has been, um, for those who know, don't, know me, don't know me personally, I live down in Houston and we have been dealing with the, the hurricane and the aftermath of flooding and everything down here. And there has been a lot of crazy emotions in this city. And I'm sure that a lot of you here in this group can relate to being an empath. And if you don't know what that word means, what an empath is, it means that you feel what's going on around you. You feel other people's emotions. You're able to, to, to feel that whether you want to feel it or not. And sometimes it might feel like anxiety. It might feel like a headache. Um, it kind of looks different for a little pe from different people. But I wanted to show you a few tricks to help in this type of situation. So if you're in a large group or maybe you're around somebody that is a little negative or is going through grief or some strong emotion or you're in a disaster area like Texas or in Florida where there's an overwhelming sense of emotion, this is a very easy trick. This is I'm an emotion code certified practitioner and this is a trick that, hey Amy, that um, I use all the time. And it's just we're using the energy in the body to help release absorbed emotions. And so what I mean by absorbed emotions, it's kind of like you're acting like a sponge. And so you're kind of absorbing those things around you. And so what I do is I just set the intention. I'm releasing all absorbed emotions. And then you're going to just take your hand and wave it from your forehead to your back and flick it off. And just do that three times. Take a deep breath in. And that is really, really helpful at just releasing absorbed emotions that you've probably picked up from stuff around you, acting like a magnet or a sponge. And so you can do that. I like to do it daily, just kind of as maintenance, because I do, even though I shield, and, and we'll talk about that real, real quick here in a second, but um, it's just a really easy way to kind of tidy up your emotional space and make sure you're only dealing with your own emotions and not other people's. Because a lot of times what happens if you are, in this group a lot a lot of you are probably impasse those emotions tend to just build and build and build until you feel like you have this giant heavy weight on your shoulders and so this is a super easy way to release those emotions um, so another way to help yourself not be a sponge and to help create a shield around you um, there's de several different ways I'm going to be very very brief with these and I'm looking to hopefully have some different workshops that will be online that we can explore different different ideas. Um, but I just wanted to share some ideas with you really quick about shielding. So shielding is a is an idea or a concept of kind of putting yourself within a bubble, bubble, and, and creating an energetic shield so that you're not taking on negativity or you're not taking on different emotions emotions from around you. So there's a few different ways to do this. The easiest way, I think, is to get some gemstones. Um, I have different bracelets. This is not necessarily a, a, a blocker, but this is um, usually if, if you're not really versed in gemstones, the darker ones are typically ones that will block negativity. So things like onyx, tourmaline, um, jet, different black stones are very good at blocking that negative energy and just wear it as a bracelet. Um, I have found through muscle testing that typically it's it works best on your left side. So if you're not a bracelet wearer, you can put a stone in your in your pocket or in your bra, and that really just creates a shield. Another easy way is prayer, guys. Ask for the armor of God. It's in the scriptures, and that's something that you can just ask and you shall receive, and he really does protect you. Another way is essential oils. So I like to use a blend called On Guard to help shield as well. It's a protection blend, and I either will apply it over my heart or on the bottoms of my feet if I'm going to be in a situation, either around somebody that might be negative or if I'm going to be in a large group of people or I can just feel that there's just a bunch of funky energy going on around me. Um, another way that you can shield is just visualization. So closing your eyes and imagining yourself in a big, giant bubble um, of energy to help block yourself from other other people and it can be energy light whatever you like for visualization and there's also another technique called zip up and this is super easy you can actually go on 
on YouTube and look up Donna Eden Zip Up, and she's got lots of instructional videos there. But the idea is just you're, you're um, zipping up your energetic bubble. So you just start here at like right at your groin area and just zip up, go to your mouth, and go out. And do that three times and just imagine you zipping up. And it's just going to help block that energy so you're not taking on stuff. So, guys, be aware of what's around you because you are affected by things that are happening in your city, in your town, in your family. And sometimes the stuff you're dealing with it isn't even your own. So, guys, good luck. Have fun practicing. And hope you guys are all doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.